welcome to showing of my new sewing space. So this is an American style barn and I decided to do a vinyl uh, wording logo on my door. I did it on the Cricut machine and I mirrored it so that I could put it on the inside. I thought why not? It's my space. Anyway here we go. Opening up the door. It's a ranch slider sliding in. I've got a neck curtain, what's more of a sun filtering curtain. And here is my new space. All set up. Probably will make some modifications as time goes on. I'm already thinking about a couple of wee changes. Anyway, I'm going to start over to the left hand side. This is a chair for anyone that comes or if my husband visits me. I have had already one wee visitor and I was able to make them a drink because I've got a wee tea coffee station set up here on an antique sewing table and I've got all my cups and some water because I don't actually have a sink in this room but it's just okay having a jug of water and I've got my special cups, my simplicity cup, a sewing cup that I got off Timo, this one I made on my Cricut machine and it says I'm a sewer on the road to recovery, just kidding, I'm on the road to the fabric store. I thought that was quite funny. And I've got a wee Bowdoin jug, it's just a litre jug, and some snacks and tea bags. Underneath here I have a basket with just some odds and ends and a naked doll, I'm not sure where she's going to go yet, and some bag making patterns. I need to move that basket somewhere. Some reading material, some uh, fabric swatches. And then moving over to the other corner, I've got a mirror there, which is handy for when I'm trying on things. My slippers, because it's cold on the floor. There's a decorative bird cage. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Closer up lot of my curtains. So we've got lawn outside there, which is all going to be concreted. And oh, I've got a visitor. He's got muddy feet. I'm going to have to stop. He has to go out. Anyway, here we go again. Um, better view of my curtains, they're very pretty actually, they've got a lovely leaf design on them, just thought it was a bit nicer than having plain ones, you can actually use these as curtain and then put a thermal lining on behind, so they are very good quality to keep the sun out. In this space I've got a wire mannequin, I just use it decoratively, I do hang coat hangers on it and hang um, some makes or some repairs and things that I have. This is my first cut and I bought the peg boards, they're actually plastic from Timu and I've just cable tied them onto the side. I just have everyday things like scissors and little mini measuring rulers and just bits and bobs that I can just reach for in there. Very handy the fact that I can roll it. I don't think it's going to stay there. I've just sort of plonked it there for now. And to the right there is my poor embroidery machine which I need to find a space for. So there's a bit of storage in these carts. So just need to work a bit more on organising those bits and pieces. And um, on the next one, which is the um, cabinet to the... Oh, actually going on to the shelf here. This has got all my, um, I guess, jean making type um, tools. And then as I was about to say, this one here is my display thing that I got from a store that was closing down. It's really good. It's got a basket at the bottom. And that has all my rib ribbing, or some of my ribbing uh, materials in. So keep them all together. The next shelf has all my haberdashery and this is a photo box and so I've labelled it and put all my little bits and pieces I don't know what to do with like twill tape and press studs and hooks and eyes and those kind of things are in there. And then on the next shelf, this is really good, this is um, good for my um, cotton cones, My yeah, so the threads all stay nice and neat. On the top rack I've got all my bulk buttons and elastics and some more threads. My first sewing table is just an Ikea one, has a wee drawer underneath and I've just got a Banana 350. It's 
a basic machine but it does everything I need it to do pin holders and I've got a gorgeous wee coaster friend gave me life is short by the fabric so we've got to remember that don't beat ourselves up when we have too much fabric in here I have got um, sewing bobbins and a cute little needle machine needle holder it's just for the needles that haven't had the end of life I put them in here and I can reuse them when I'm changing out between stretch and woven that kind of thing this drawer I have all my I guess extra measuring um, marking things I should say and needles and pattern wheel and spare and pickers and bobkins and things like that this one at the moment I'll probably change this but I've just put in my um, fabric crafting fabrics and that kind of thing fat quarters this is a horn chair it's great it's got storage underneath it's really comfortable to sit in I like the fact it doesn't have any arms so it's really good to sit in I'm just going to probably move this next trolley out the way so we can get into these cabinets now these cabinets sorry for the wobbly camera these cabinets I got through a garage sale and I keep all my fabric so this one here I have got all my stretch fabric I did try to sort of put all similar colors together but it's got a wee bit messy with my recent makes but these are all my stretch and then over the one we've got here all my wovens and again a little bit messy at the top but I have been taking from my stash with my recent makes on top I've got a basket of mending and anything that I've cut out that needs to be made up so that's really handy uh, my cotton reel holder on the wall which is for regular um, reels that I reach for picture a letter holder and in there I've got things like um, little button cards which I plan to put multiple buttons on when I get a chance just to store them so I can easily find my sets of buttons another wee holder with uh, scissors and that kind of thing this it was given to me at Christmas my sister-in-law made me and I did have all my sewing bits and bobs in it it's really handy to keep behind the machine it doesn't fall over it's heavy because it's got a mug underneath I think it's a simplicity pattern so yeah it's really really great I must actually refill it and start using it a pin cushion that I made and embroidered that was one of the inspiration magazines and just some spare buttons and things that I've been using recently and I have a magnetic holder for all my safety pins and then this little unit holds all the little bits and pieces that I kind of don't know what to do with so they're all in there handy for my safety pins and extra needles and tassels and bits and bobs this I made sort of a scrapbooking multimedia project based around sewing and I've got a couple of photos in there it was really fun to make then down here I've got my tissue box holder which was from Linkraft and I've covered it with rice paper with again the theme of sewing, added some flowers and then also some resin on the side and on the other side just to give it a wee bit of a 3D um, look. I like my tissue boxes covered, I don't like the ones you buy from the supermarket. Another little set of drawers and these hold my extra threads. This is a lolly jar from Kmart, great for holding extra bits and bobs. So handy, got iron on motifs and that kind of thing in the top. And then uh, some quilting pins and bits and pieces in there. Next little set of drawers are from Ikea. And on the top I have my extra threads again. Whoops, we're going backwards and down, sorry about that extra threads and um, another cup which I think I'll take the things out of that cup and put in the cup my sister-in-law gave me she actually gave me this cup as well and I'll put that on my tea making area rubbish bin a little container with my pokey tools this picture in the background I made that when I was about ten and a half an embroidery picture and my mother framed it for me this is a set of drawers which hold 
lots of bits and pieces. At the top I've got all my manuals and instructions for my machines. In here I've got needles and bobbins and extra bits and pieces in there. Next drawer I have um, sewing machine parts and accessories. And I've labelled them to make it easier. This has all my fusing tape and bits and bobs and trans transfer paper interfacing. So handy wee set of drawers. Great for storing all those odds and ends. This one here is my Imagine Baby Lock Overlocker. Just love it. I love the wee waist, which I even emptied. Really handy. I often stand at that machine and use it. Have a light little bag over the back. Here I have my Baby Lock cover stitch machine. Just love this machine. So I've got it all set up there. It's really handy to have these machines here. This one here I tend to sit at, so I do have a chair for that one. This corner is a bit of a mess. Here I have some patterns that need cutting out. My Dyson stick vacuum cleaner. But in the background there I have this gorgeous jug. It was red, I spray painted it black and I'm hoping to add some embellishment like some gold rub on or something around the flower and the handle and just some artificial flowers. It looks really great in the corner. Um, a mirror, just purely decorative just to add a feature. My mannequin, which I'm planning to use. I haven't used it much yet, but I need to set it up so it's actually in my size. An ornamental phone, old-fashioned phone, it actually doesn't go. Well, it does go, but it doesn't go in our current system. Um, a set of chalk painted drawers, my TV, which I have connected to the internet so I can stream YouTube and watch movies and stuff. Uh, these set of drawers, I wasn't going to have them in my room, but then I thought it was good for my TV to sit on. And I've actually decided to put all my Big Four patterns back into these drawers. What I've done is I've taken all the envelopes off the outside and put them all into a Ziploc bags. This top drawer, I've got like bulk cord and stuff like that. This drawer here, I have like my sewing, some of my sewing machine covers and accessories and my anti-slip mat, which is great for under machines. Here are my patterns that I was telling you about and I've put them into numerical order and I've divided them up into categories. So I've got um, different categories and I've got the uh, pattern covers or envelopes. I'll show you how I've got them stored. So they're all stored away there. My paper roll for making papers. My Dyson machine, which I'm actually going to hang it on the wall. I'm just going to find a space to hang it. It's really annoying there. Now, these set of three IKEA bookcases are fantastic. I went for the corner setup. So I've got two billies and then a smaller one in the middle. And then I opted for the glass door. Just really love that. So on these shelves, I've got lots of bits and pieces. So up here I've got all my um, quilting fabrics folded up. The those ones there are folded up onto MDF just to keep them nice and neat. Just some decorative bits and pieces here. Got all my jars of buttons. That's some surplus fabric up in there. Just sort of um, unusual fabrics. And down here I've got containers. I've got containers of elastic, cord, zips, lace, that kind of thing. And on the second shelf from the bottom I've got all my embroidery, um, flosses and things like that. So I've just got bulk, just putting them into plastic containers and then I can just dive in there. The middle sort of little shelf, I've just got a few collectibles in there. I probably will change it up. I've got a little baby Elna, which is a kid's sewing machine. It's a hand-operated one. And I've just got a few decorative machines and things that I've just picked up. I just like collecting sewing-themed things. I'll open up the door. It's a bit shiny to see these things. So there we go, some decorative ones. These are things that I've made, apart from the Wonder Woman collectible. These things I've bought except for the pair in the background that was embroidered by me. 
And then I've just got our girl, or our generation I should say, um, sewing set. I just got that from when my little nieces come over. They think it's quite cute to play with. And then on this shelf here, I've got lots of inspirational books and some pattern books. At the top there, I've got a couple of boxes of felt. That's my sewing machine box. I mean, my sewing box that I got when I was a kid. Here's some tins. They do have bits and pieces in them. My quilting rulers. Some more tins with bits and pieces. All my indie patterns, I've now got four boxes of them, which is a bit of a worry. And I'm storing them a little bit differently now. I've got the L-shaped clear pockets. I put the pattern and the instructions in there. Just, I can grow them that way and I can see through the um, envelopes a bit better. Right on this shelf, there's a lot of stuff on here too. So at the very top... I have got my stitch bird picture. It's this New Zealand stitch bird on a Singer sewing machine. That's kind of where I got my inspiration from for New Zealand stitch bird. It is actually a bird. And I've got a porcelain doll, a clock, my sewing machine that I learnt on as a kid. And no, I am not that old, but mum got it for me because it wasn't electric. And I've got my Cricut um, picture, which is about 18 layers of card. My cardboard sewing machine, some quilting peg pins, my banana accessories feet, another little set of black drawers with ribbons and bows and things. In there I have my pattern box that I've made myself. Then I've got more patterns and bits and bobs down there. And I have got some little sets of drawers that have written on what's in there, pins and needles and that kind of thing, and buttons, surplus buttons, and another set of drawers with similar stuff. I need to go through and sort of just streamline it a bit. And the next shelf is just kind of a bit of a mess. I have my wool holder and just a whole lot of bits and pieces I've just put into these plastic containers because I don't know what to do with it. There's some little gifts and things. My little suitcases have things like um, unusual elastics and little things that are not used every day and going back over to the pattern box I'm going to go into a bit more detail about these so these ones I've divided into categories so these are my dresses so these are all the envelopes of my patterns and I've put them into numerical order so I can flip through and use them like my own pattern book when I'm looking for a pattern. I find it so much better than trying to rifle through all my patterns all the time. I can see exactly what I've got. So I've got my indie patterns here too and I'm just having trouble putting it back into the shelf so I'm just going to stop the camera. Here we go. So I've tidied them up. So my indie one, I need to separate out now into tops, dresses and pants and that kind of thing. So it's just, it's not complete. So I need to sort that at some stage. And yes, I make a section in the ones I've already got. This box has just got memorabilia in it. And again, down here, it's just stuff that um, is just extra storage and things. There's nothing too exciting in those boxes. But I just like the, the really, really pretty boxes. I've got my tractor seat chair. And I've got two of these mats if I want to cut out on them. You don't use them all the time, but they're quite good to have on the table. My husband did wreck them because he actually had one scrunched up in a car. So I'm going to have to try and flatten that, put it out in the heat. Uh, I've got my two owning boards under there. It's great having a wee bit of storage. This is actually a door of the table and this is the IKEA trestles. And I think I've got them on the second highest hole. They work really, really well. It's a great height for cutting out. I don't get a sore back. This wee trolley is like my cutting out trolley and my ironing trolley. I've got my ironing hams. I've got my little water jugs. I've got my uh, weights for cutting out little mini irons and scissors and all the things I need for cutting out sitting in this trolley a little um, thread remover is really handy to have my handheld steamer and stuff like that's down in there 
and on the iron cart when we're moving back to this one here I've got the iron cart there I've got my wool uh, ironing mat which I just love I've got threads and containers and I've got some more ribbing stored there as well the wool is really nice to iron on I just really like it so this is just like having a mini station just when I'm pressing a quick seam or doing things like that but I do get my other ironing boards out when I'm sewing as well and underneath the table it's a wee bit of a mess at the moment there's my arm ironing board and a slightly bigger ironing board. I've got this big trunk and this has got fabrics that I've made a list out of and put in there. They're sort of like bulk pieces. I've got some spare patterns, a couple of fabric box, some leftover fabric from my curtains. And my plan is I'm going to hem some of it and I might just throw it over my machines until I get some machine covers made. Just thought it'd be handy even to throw over my tea making area when I'm not using it, just to keep dust and stuff off. Just some extra fabric and my so any travel bag, which I'm really pleased with. A little file folder. This has all all small projects in it, and I used that when I was teaching sewing, so I've just got that sitting there. This is a farm style crate and all the surplus fabric I have left after cutting something out goes in here and every now and then I'll go through it and if it's pieces I can reuse I'll try and use it up or I'll donate it to school and one of my colleagues will use it so it's quite, quite good just to have that bin there for that. So that's how big my cutting table is, door, my beautiful chandelier. I just love it. I just like the feature. I could have it because the ceiling's very high in the barn. And I've got spots, which are great. I don't usually need too much other lighting. Looking out the windows, and nice big windows, and I have blinds on both my windows, so I can pull those down when I'm not using the space if it's really sunny in there to protect my machinery and my fabrics and that kind of thing. And just looking back down there, that's my mirror, which I mentioned before. And on this side here, I have another IKEA picture rail. And this holds two of my pictures. My Simplicity poster, which I love. It's a 1968 picture and another sewing machine picture. And then, of course, I've got to have a sewing machine clock. And that was just from Timo, but I think it's really cool. Goes with the theme in the room. And I think we're getting towards the end of it. Just another quick whiz around just to see the space. I just really love my new space. It's just really lovely to work in. And I'm really going to enjoy it. Going to make a couple of wee changes just with, I think I've got too many carts. The floor's great. It's a vinyl planking, easy to clean. Someone suggested to me that I get the garage carpet and I thought, oh no. All the threads will stick to it, so no, this was working out really well. I just wear my slippers if my feet are cold. And yeah, there we have it. The tour of my new sewing space. I'm just so lucky to have such a great space to sew in. And yeah, I think it's just going to make me a bit more productive. And I think that... I'll be able to spend time in here and actually be able to focus on doing what I do. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I'm hoping to bring some photos soon from Brisbane of me wearing my new capsule. And uh, please subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.